hi guys welcome back to my channel i know you haven't seen these little guys in a minute so i figured i would do a video mm. so i'm about to give them a oatmeal bath so that's gonna be fun right elsa i'll probably clip their nails look at those bad boys look at those claws oh my goodness where's my little kitty here are the culprits so this is kitty this is elsa for those of you wondering how i tell them apart ball tail fur tail so let's go ahead and get started, shall we? I'm gonna take my big oatmeal container and, well, John's sock because I only have ankle socks. He doesn't know I'm using his sock. Probably should have got a funnel. Aha, I have found a method. I'm just gonna tie a knot so nothing comes out in the water. This is kind of what the bathroom's looking like right now. It's a little messy. Don't judge, don't judge. I do also want to let you guys know their body temperature actually ranges anywhere from 101 degrees Fahrenheit to 103 degrees Fahrenheit. So what feels warm to us um, is actually cold to them. So when you make their bath, make it a little bit warmer than your typical bath. You do want to make sure there's only a few inches of water in the bathtub and that they can still touch the ground. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, mom, what is this? What is this mess? Does it taste good? Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. the baby oh my goodness just relaxing just relaxing kitty you want to do it come on you can do it too my loves oh wow mom Wee. babe come here come see our children <laughs> <laughs> they look miserable you want to see something funny sure Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. They're not only furry noodles, but they're also mini otters. Isn't that cute though? That's super cute. All right guys, since they've been soaking for a little bit, I'm going to give them a wash. I'm using the Dawn dish soap. Um, you don't want to use a lot of this because it can dry out their skin. Just going to go a little bit, just like that. Just like, oh, it's cold, mom. I also don't want to bathe them too much because it gets rid of their scent. Their bodies then feel like they need to overproduce their musk and that's what gives them such a strong smell. Because a lot of people make that mistake and wash their ferrets because they smell and then they start smelling worse because they're producing more scent. Now she oh. pooped in the water! <coughs> a few moments later. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh. All right, one ferret down. They do not like being wet. <laughs> the little feet. Now it's your turn. All right, Miss Elsa. Come here, darling. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Oh, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. There you go. This is my favorite part. You getting dry? Huh? You just had to give me a bath, Mom. Hi, kitty. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, this is probably better to do before you give them a bath because they are nuts after you give them a bath. Um, but I am going to go ahead and trim their nails. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take my clippers and some ferritone. And I like to put it on their bellies right here because it keeps them still. So, Miss Elsa will stay still for me. Stay still. You gotta do your nails. Stop. Stop. I'm gonna have to do her toes later because she's not wanting to stay still for me. But I know Kitty. Kitty's the good one. She's my sweet little girl. So, you're gonna stay still for Mama, aren't you? 
Yeah. My sweet girl. My sweet girl. Oh, you're gonna come steal hers now. No, you can go in the bathtub. <laughs> come on, Pluto. Look at these little toes. You ready to be let out of the bathtub now? You have to let me do your toes. Okay, fine. I won't do your toes. No more ferritone for you. Okay, so next, I'm going to take Q-tip and clean their ears. Now, this is just the way that I do it. I'm sure many ferret owners do it different ways. I do this every time I clip their nails, and I clip their nails probably every other week. All right, so this is gonna be kind of hard to record because I have to scruff them. And scruffing them does not hurt them, by the way. Elsa, since you're a butt, you're gonna go first. So I'm gonna lay them down. It's very stubborn. I'm not using much either. So I'm just kind of going in here a little bit, not pushing hard or anything. I'm gonna do the other one. All right, you're done. Come here, kitty. I know you're not gonna give me a hard time. You are good girls. I know you don't like it. Now for the last thing. Um, again, each ferret owner is probably gonna be different. You definitely don't wanna give your ferrets a lot of this stuff. Fairly against most martial things. This is just what's what I've had for years and this has been fine. So I take a little bit and I but like about that much. And this is to prevent hairballs because ferrets cannot process hairballs and over time, if you don't give them something to prevent hairballs, they will get a blockage. Elsa has had one blockage, which costed me $1,400. Um, and that actually wasn't due to a hairball. It was due to um, a piece of foam that was laying on the floor. And I was told that if she had another blockage, she would not survive. Do keep a lookout for things on the floor, um, things that they can chew up. Uh, for example, do not put ferret toys in their cage because they're more likely to chew on them um, and you don't, you definitely don't want a blockage because not every ferret will survive a blockage surgery. So this is to prevent hairball blockages. So we love this stuff. We love this stuff. Where you at? Oh, hello, darling. Look out. It's not for you. Here you go, baby. Those of you who do watch my other videos know that I just recently moved out to my first apartment. Um, so with that being said, would you guys be interested in seeing an updated ferret cage tour? That would definitely be fun. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see that. I'm not sure when I'm going to be posting my next ferret video because as you guys know, I have been posting less and less ferret videos. I do apologize for that, but I have been enjoying filming other things for you guys as well. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching these little fur balls get their baths. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure and give it a, a huge thumbs up and subscribe for more potential ferret videos. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.